<coughs> you're watching. This this video was created by Cleamer four thousand five hundred of Cleamer four thousand five hundred gaming. Caution. Government test experiments on children await. What's going on, guys? This is Cleamer four thousand five hundred, and today we're going to be discussing an even more inhumane st test subjection on children. And Satcom and I will be leading the charge. Oh yes, we're going to be leading an attack against a school that is pretty much even worse than Suffolk County Charter School. What, or more specifically, this school is actually a vault. Vault in the 75. This vault has turned to be the worst for children. And I was, and I, and when I was talking about the previous episode, I mentioned a pink page that turned them suicide, that turned them hostile, that turned the children hostile. some corporation to try and make money. So, we're going to be taking a look in the middle school basement. And we're going to be going to a into, into the basement. And let it go, let alone here, we see a lot of propaganda here, unlike Suffolk County Charter School, about communists and stuff. Anti-communist sentiment. And here we find the basement, and here we also find the vault. Vault 75. Dice enrollment for um, Melvin families. Washington, D.C. In response to growing national concern for the safety of our children in the event of a nuclear attack, Voltec officials have cooperated with local government in Melvin, Massachusetts to provide subsidized enrollment fees for any families wishing to sign up for residence in Vault 75. The newly opened vault is attached directly to Melton's elementary school, which is a middle school actually, ensuring a swift evacuation should an attack come during class time. Safeguarding the future has always been our priority, said a vault spokes spoke per, spokesperson. This terminal is for the express use of the vault. Opening Opening a Vault 75 gives us all extra peace of mind, knowing that the children of Melton will be safe, even if the, even if the worst time worst comes to pass. Enrollment policy. Vault Tech has authorized special discounts and sub subsides for qualifying families. This special offer can only be extended to families meeting the following requirements: one, one or more enrolled family members or children under the age of 15. Two, enroll children at 10 public school within the township of Malden, Massachusetts. Three, the, uh, the enrolled group includes no more than two adults per qualifying child. Please note that 75, Vault 75 also permits the individual enrollment of children for families which cannot afford to also 
unroll a parent or guardian. Upon, ac all, upon activation of Vault 75, all residents must be subjected to standard admission protocols, details of which can be found in the Vault Tech personal ha Personnel Handbook. Once residents have been verified and sanitized, children under the age of 17 are to be taken to the atrium area. There they will meet with the overseer, who will provide orientation information specific to the children. All of the residents are to be taken to the holding area and await their brief their briefing from the head of security. This is good. Admission protocols. I I don't like the sound of this. This is this is getting pretty scary. Truth be told. Let's get ready. You ready for this? Because so here it is, the quest, Vault 75. Oh, well, the gunfight is still going on. Two military organizations fighting each other. Start the quest. Vault 75 here right now. This way into the bathroom where the children change out of their clothes into the vault suits. I don't know why they mandated the vault suits. Well, I don't know why these residents wore the vault suits anyway. I don't even know if they mandated them or what. Probably for unity. And uniformity. Which is pretty bad in its own right. Okay, robot. Oh, cutting off an arm really helps. I feel bad for these gunners. How can they go through things like this? I am not signing up for this shit. Oh, no. Alright. Here we find some things here. Well, he certainly doesn't need that anymore. <laughs> equipment is all but scary. This isn't this doesn't sound good.
Okay. Let's go back here. Let's see if we missed something. It's possible we did. I want to make sure we didn't leave anything behind. Oh, we just need to make sure. Ourselves a bobblehead. Okay. Hmm. Let's go find out what inhumane experiment Voltec was doing here. Because obviously this was an inhumane experiment. I about opens the door for us. Ooh, what's this? Researcher terminal. Test protocol. Aero aerobic aptitude. Researcher guidelines. Aerobic station. This station exists to measure increase the aerobic stability and cardioverscular health of test subjects. As as the treadmill operator at adjust incline and speed to reach and sustain target rate and subject once target rate has been sustained for 60 seconds gradually increase duress until peak heart rate has been reached or exceeded heart rate guide gosh oh my gosh side effect guidelines unacceptable cease test if risk rises Cardia, uh, cardiac arrest, death, acceptable. Muscle strain, nausea, vomiting, loss of consciousness. Something is telling me something horrible is going on. Nina. Nina won't believe it. I'm actually on the research team. We always thought some grown-ups must stay in the vault to help oversee or run things to help the overseer run things. And if even even if we never saw them, I was right. Not everyone has to go to the outside world. They said I'd do more good here, and I couldn't be happier. I wish there was some way she could know I'm still here. S still be able to watch her. She'll graduate in two years. Maybe they'll put her on the research team too, if her scores are high enough. Ah, to be young. It's only been a few months since graduation, and I, I already I feel so much more mature than the kids I'm monitoring every day. Kids? Rohit, Rohit and James both still talk about talking, taking over the vault. Like they think nobody's listening. Robbie and Becca still sneak, sneak off to huff propellant. We'll, we see that too. We'll never make it. Well, they'll never make it onto the research team like I did. I'm just glad I, I can still keep an eye on Nina. She's not doing too great on her scores, though she's she was never much of an academic like me. Her physical scores are among the best in the group. Um, though, uh, group though, I'm sure she'll graduate to to a good team for up top. I just. Uh, I just hope she can. I can see her before she goes up top. What? Kids? Oh. Passing notes. Uh, Supervisor Bissell lost some papers from his clipboard this morning. He was pretty anxious about it. He'd spent most of the morning searching for them, then pulled me aside to get me looking for them 
while he went to meet with the overseer. He really doesn't want anyone to know they went missing. Turns out they got sucked into a vent. I could hear the pages flapping in there. There's no way I can get them unless I were to go downstairs, but I saw Rohit fish them out of the vent down, vent down there. First, I was there first. I'm going to tell Basel I couldn't find them. Oh no. Shooting range maintenance. Shooting range maintenance. The um, the uh, the range is really getting run down. I've I've asked the overseer whether we can have some supplies brought in to help refurb refurbish it, but was told we shouldn't work with what we should work with what we've got. Then she reminded me it wasn't even my situation. I didn't think it would would be a big deal to have her ask some of the up top graduates to bring supplies, but I guess they're really busy, and there's always been some risk involved with her going outside. Maybe she'll ask at next year's graduation when she takes the new graduates through the search door. We just learned a dark secret. These kids were put through live military training to serve the government. Oh my god. Inhumane. A crime against many, therefore it's a war crime. Never train child soldiers. And I think if these children were trained, but never pushed to the military service, they managed to run free, they would be stuck with that training for the rest of their lives. At least it would help them. It would help them if they were in a pretty bad area, where there was crime or where there was fighting every day. They, they wouldn't have gun training, and they would know how to use military gear. They would have some military gear, and they would be okay. But for me to think that way, no. It's... I think it's much more horrible than that. Let's go up top. This area. I feel like I'm starting to get tears on my throat. Changing room, shower room, the cafeteria. Ugh. No tears, no tears, no fears. Okay, let's go into this area. Ending in here, we find nothing. But another terminal. Classroom terminal. Today's lesson. Error. No file found. Error. No file found. No file found or file stored in the wrong context. Up oh, top land heroes. There was once a little girl named Sue and a little boy named Bright. Sue and Roy grew up in a, a very special place called Vault 75. They learned and trained and played there. How they trained. Sue and Roy were both growing up big and strong, when one day, Sue and Roy were asked to visit the Overseer. What's wrong, Overseer? asked Sue. Why are you crying, Overseer? said Roy. It's just awful, cried the Overseer, wiping a tear from her eye. Have you children ever heard of Up Top Land? Sue and Roy blinked and shook their heads. What's that, Overseer? they asked. Oh, it's a terrible place, began the Overseer. Then she told the children about Up Top Land. She told them about the people living there and how they weren't safe or strong like the children of Vault 75. Monsters attacked them and evil bandits stole their food. And it was no place for, for little children to grow up. No, not at all. Those poor people, exclaimed Sue. Why does nobody help them? Wondered Roy. Wondered Roy. That's just it, children, the overseer told them. They need somebody big and strong to protect them. Who will help them? Sue and Roy asked. One day, children, you will, said the overseer. That's why you must do your best at classes and training every day. So you grow up big and strong. 
Go out and go make Up Top Land a happy and safe place for the four people who live there. Sue and Roy smiled at that and ran off to their lessons, eager to help. Inhumane! And I think, I, and I know what Up Top Land needs. I know what Up, up Top Land is. Up Top Land is not its real name. Its real name is the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth. These children were being taught that this place was called Up Top Land, that, and that evil bandits were stealing their food, and monsters were attacking them, and they, and that they need to train big and strong to fight. I don't know what the parents would say about this. Maybe we'll find some more information about them soon. Because I didn't manage to get a chance to find out where I'm going to find that evidence. But I've never found that evidence, really. I just feel bad for these kids. Now we gotta find the admin area. down here. All these poor little kids. Gosh, Overseer, gosh. That is not how you help kids train to grow up. You don't teach them the art of war! It's sick and inhumane, and it's a war crime to train child soldiers now. It's sickening! Alright. Yeah, we're gonna... I hope we don't find any information here. At least all these terminals are broken. Uh-oh. Oh, we're safe from that one. I'm just gonna take his outfit. Chief Scientist Terminal. Oh no! Confidential, confidential, confidential. Chief Scientist eyes only. Violation VTP 01012. Prime Directive. Welcome to Vault 75. As outlined in your confidential briefing packet, Vault 75 is part of a top secret military program. You have been selected for your professional president credentials, experience, and commitment to, to the improvement of the human genome. Oh gosh, it is it is of the up, utmost importance that you follow the protocols herein. The mission of Vault 75, above all, is the re, is the refinement of human genetics. Your scientific staff will operate according to the research schedule set forth by Shell, Braun, and Lambie. You'll you'll be working with the with an overseer with a background as a military officer. Your overseer will be responsible for for training and maintaining the subject population you'll be working with. It is important that you and your overseer maintain a healthy working relationship. Experimental abstract. Vault seventy five represents an unprecedented opportunity to test our hypothesis that. The human genome can be improved at a rapid rate through the combination of selective breeding, horm hormonal treatments, genetic modification, and an accelerated generational cycle. The experimental ob objectives of Vault 75 are detailed in your handbooks, which have been provided to you already. This experiment is intended to be carried out over multiple generations. As such, there may be unanticipated research opportunities that present themselves. Such diversions from provisional protocol are permitted at the, at the discretion of the chief scientist, V. Shell, I. Lamb, and Stanulus Braun. Staff replenishment. Because Vault 75 represents a long-term experiment in a closed environment. 
it will become important to replenish staff periodically. This shall be done by selective recruitment of outgoing subjects. We anticipate a certain percentage of, of resident population to exhibit high intellect scores, but insufficient physical capabilities to be qualified for genomic harvesting. Oh gosh. These subjects may be at overseer and, and chief scientist discretion offered the opportunity to join staff. Those who refuse should be disposed of in the same manner as unqualified on outgoing subjects. <clears throat> Please note that all internally recruited staff should be kept strictly separate from general population for at least 15 years to prevent members of the general population recognizing former re residents among the staff. Only, only the most trusted and capable staff members should be admitted to the genomics laboratory. It is the responsibility of the chief scientist to be very careful to very carefully choose the staff members and ensure they are sufficiently trained for their roles. Genetic harvesting protocol. Oh gosh. Outgoing subjects. Age 18 years with the um, <clears throat> with the aggregate scoring of superior or excellent across key physical, mental, social traits must be escorted to the genomics laboratory. Proceedings should be done with an on an individual basis, with the great with and with great care. Remember that successful subjects will likely be capable of overpowering staff. Reiterate to the subject that a brief round of vaccinations is necessary to avoid arousing any suspicions otherwise. Each subject should have a file for <coughs> processing which indicates which specific organic material needs to be preserved for future testing. Be sure that these directions are strictly adhered to and that specimens are stored quickly. Genomics report. Genome donors. Overall harvest was exceptional this year. Lots of superior ratings in the physical categories. Many of our, our vital organ initiatives are paying dividends. Pain thresholds have been have been a mostly solved program for years now, and we're finally getting past issues like cardiac arrest under heavy heavy duress. The genetic material we're gaining this year should help the next generation meet goals we thought were still a decade or more off. Some concerns are about aggression levels. We've had a few cases of psychological breakdowns due to stress over the years, but incidence was much higher in this group. I'm going to recommend we synthesize some new tranquilizers, tranquilizers just to stock up. Food supply remains best delivery method for general population, but should be concerned about future with science staff too. Recruitment. Only need only need one recruit to scientific staff this year, with Washington joining the genetics team to help me out here, help me out here, out up here. This subject's physical scores were very low, and he was constantly shown good problem solving and critical thinking. Overseer has concerns about his attachment to some of the younger members of the population. I'm, I'm not too worried. His, his psychological profile shows that he's very su suggestible. We'll keep him on the observ observation deck long enough for those he had a personal relationship with to graduate out of the population. That gives some, us some time to acclimate him, him to the experimental protocols without conflict. We just need to keep him in the dark until then. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That doesn't sound good. Disposed. We had... We had very low disposal overhead, thanks to the excellence of this ratio this year. Just 74% of the over, uh, overall graduating class. Incinerations will be, will be done within the week. Good first task for Washington before we begin the real work. Oh gosh. So they were burning the corpses of the children. Burning them. War crime. Crime against humanity. Archive records. 
archive cor error, archive corrupt. Please refer to hard copies. Manual re-entry recommended. The parents would be sick if they saw this. Sweet. They probably didn't even know this, this kind of stuff was going on. And here we are. And I guess the person here was a military. The overseer here was a former military officer. Which sums it up the best. Got some blood stains on my suit. We're gonna check out this area first. Oh. Yes. This is her bathroom. Hope oh, you're safe. Alright. Overseer's terminal. Operations Protocol Manual. Resident admitted. Personnel officers are responsible for. Oh. Personnel officers are responsible for admitting residents and obeying standard protocol for sanitization and scans. Research staff is is to assist as needed, but otherwise remain in their wing. Adults age 17 and older will be isolated and, dispo and disposed of by, head by the head of security. Disposed of, as in I mean executed, as in I mean murdered. Crime against humanity. War crime. That's why the parents did not see this kind of shoe. They were dead already. Inhumane, America. Inhumane. Children under the age of 17 are to be taken directly to the atrium area. And or, as overseer, you are responsible for, for introducing the children to the caretaker robots and their sleeping facilities. Research protocols will not begin until the second week of containment. It is recommended that you participate directly in routine story times each evening. Family policy. Vault 75 has been built within the township of Meldon, and all families with children aged 5 to 16 have been offered subsidized admits to, to the vault program here. This should be this should mac maximize the number of residents able to report for admittance in a crisis event. In the event that it becomes necessary, it is preferable to allow potential subjects to remain within their with, remain with their families in the bulkhead area over allowing adults to accompany subjects to the atrium. These subjects will not be admitted to the general population though. Some distress is expected in the early days of internment. Please refer to Vault Tech's child care consolation protocols if guidance is needed. Staff duties. Personnel and security staff have been assigned to Vault 75 and provided with standard instructions as found in your operations manual. Research personnel are to remain in their designated wing and isolated from making physical contact with residents except under special circumstances. New research personnel may be selected annually from the vault population at overseer's discretion. Residents are to be informed that these persons have vacated the vaults. Gosh. Overseer directives. One, residents and under residents aged 18 and older must be removed from the general population annually. Oh my gosh. War crime. That is a downright war crime. Purging people from certain populations is a war crime. Well, purging certain people from general populations is basically the war crime that goes right there. So yeah, it's a war crime. Number two, residents have re residents who have exhibited genetic promise area to be preserved for genome harvesting and reintegration. Gosh, that is another war crime. This is straight up place intended for crimes against humanity. 
And if the real world government found out about this and it was being done by some company or some government outside the country, this would be shut down and it would be turned and it would be um, become, become a memorial place for all these children who's have who've been trained in deadly warfare and then dissected for parts and stuff and ugh. number three resident residents of average residents of average genetic promise but high into intelligence and docility may be recruited to the research staff at overseer discretion that's uh, the way to commit a war crime number four all residents all of the residents to be removed must be called I don't know what that means I'm gonna Google that right now we're gonna Google the cold <clears throat> the cold definition right now Cold definition. Cold. I'm afraid I'm, I'm gonna have to say this. It means, in archaic terms, picked fresh cold daffodils, but of any living thing, a moving living thing like an animal, as in like insects or maybe us as humans, selectively. Slaughtered. War crime. Crime against humanity under the Geneva Conventions. That is downright call for a war crime. Number five. Research staff is responsible for cultivating embryo replacements to maintain consistent resident population members. Number six. Vault 75 is to remain sealed until an all clear order is issued by Vault Tech. The Inhumanes. Annual turnover protocols. Beginning one year after initial containment, children over the age of 18 must be removed from the general population. This will be done annually on a date specified by the overseer and chief scientist. It is recommended that this graduation be treated as an important tradition inside Vault 75. Appropriate ceremonies should be con conceived of and performed by overseer staff, with outgoing subjects being removed one by one from the main living area. Once separated from the general population, subjects with the aggregate ratings of excellent and superior are to be escorted to the gen gen to the gen genomics laboratory for processing. Students with excellent and superior in intellect ratings but not aggregate will be offered positions as overseer of research staff per discretion of, of the overseer and chief scientist. All other subjects should be disposed of as outlined in the confidential operations packet. War crime! Overseer's blog. New researcher. Worried about the new recruit in science. He's supposed to be on simple observations duties and closely monitored until the subject he knows in population have been processed. I know we've done this many, many times before, but something about this one feels wrong. Not sure how, I'm not sure I should have let myself be talked to and to talk into it. Nursery capacity issues. We're having a capacity problem with the nursery. We're as full as we can in the IBFS, but Introducing more residents to the population is going to be problematic. I prefer to wait until the next turnover. We will have we'll, we'll have to discuss with chief scientist. Fire in archives. Darn it all! Some kind of wiring issue caused a fire in the archive. We lost some hardware that I'm told will be difficult to repair if not responsible. Science lost a lot of historical research data, though. I'm told we can get some junior staff started transcribing hard copies. Some of the locks failed once the fire got bad. Worrying, but tur turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Science staff nearly got in and stopped the place quickly. 
if the locks hadn't failed, then myself or one of the senior scientists would have would have would have had to manually open the doors. Okay. Vault 75 status. Vault status unknown. Please read address below. Genome preservation online. Research error. No call back in number of days. Generator array. Online nominal. Resident vacancy. 100%. Research vacancy. 100%. But those percentages are... This leads back to the generator area. I suppose. I feel bad for these kids. I'm gonna go through that stuff. <coughs> you think Suffolk County Charter School is bad? This is some pretty blasted up stuff that happened here. I call this a war crime just like I call Suffolk County Charter School a war crime. You should never, ever train child soldiers because we, we are, we're, more, we're getting more and more protective on the safety and security of our children. Not too protective in the security, but still, we're, we're rooting out dangerous ways that children can become hostile. And this here is pretty bad. Luckily, things turned bad for the staff at Vault 75, because when the students probably found out about this last they rebelled, overthrew their masters, killed them, and escaped the vault. We don't know where they went. They're probably still in the Commonwealth, probably hiding among the population. And we are from Rizal or something. Yeah, that's one of the automatrons. We actually the, uh, the sickening, deafening. Killing, blinding, murderous experiments going on here at Vault 75. And it's a good thing that the old world the old world has laid claim to it, because what the old world is gonna do, it's gonna teach the children the horrors of this vault, and it's gonna teach them to be more responsive to um let their their parents know what's going on. Even if they don't even have their parents. Forces to the government in pocket possible. And then, I then, you have, we would see this vault shut down, we would see it investigated, and if they're found guilty, it would be shut down and later reopened as an entirely new vault. And that is, unless, of course, the government decides to destroy the place, which it would be a good thing. Now, I guess this is this vault was used for the sake of the government and the military. But when we compare government, this isn't pre-war America anymore. So this is basically under the ha under the behalf of Voltec, under the license from um, pre-war America, i.e., something that rose up from its ashes. And guess what kind of gu guess what government? did rise up from his ashes. Who wants to take a guess? The Brotherhood? The Brotherhood of Steel? The Institute? The Minutemen? The Railroad? The Gunners? The Raiders? The Children of Adam? Voltec? Who experiments on, on death laws? The on play. 
Who experiments on children? The Enclave. Who writes vaults for technology? The Enclave. Who, who seeks to kill, contaminate people through biological warfare and biochemical warfare? The answer is the Enclave. This was done. Vault tech was working for the Enclave. And the Enclave is no good today. Eden 1 and Fall 3, and they came out here, and this vault was still operational. Only the Lord himself, the Lord himself would know what would happen to the Commonwealth. Luckily, the old world has liberated, has liberated this toxic vault of death and destruction. And now the president walking away from this vault and its horrors that it's presented. Ground floor. If you're a child who's disgruntled and who's watching this, I don't blame you. I know this is just a video game, but it is what it is. I get it's a video game, so yeah, they had to do something here, but still. This teaches us an important life, life lesson, ladies and gentlemen. Don't train child soldiers. They're too young to fight in a war. And nobody, not nobody should be conscripted to fight in a war at all. You think Suffolk County Charter School is bad with the, with, the, with its pink paste? This would, this would be, this is much, much worse than that. Genome, psychological dissections, communist propaganda, propaganda it's just inhumane and combine that pink paste with all this crap I know it'd be under chaos it'd be, an author be another authoritarian on it'd be in one big authoritarian enclave taking over the entire world and possibly going to take over the entire galaxy and if the Star Wars galaxy existed in the fall universe and this was done, and the Enclave was attacking in the Clone Wars, I think the Enclave would actually lose. Why? Because they'd be t dealing with not only two, not, not only one superpower, but two. That would be the Galactic Republic, and guess who else? The Confederacy of Independent Systems. And their droid army, as well as the Republic's clone army. And that would end in an invasion of Earth. The New California Republic. This is what would happen. The Enclave, New California Republic, the Brotherhood of Steel, Caesar Legion, the Regulators, Mercenary Companies, the Minutemen, the Institute, the Railroad, the Children of Adam. Anyone who was on the planet would be taken over by... by they're both the Republic and the Separatists combined, as they probably would have joined forces to attack the Enclave and take over their planet. And guess what it means for everyone on that planet? If you are on that planet, you are the sole survivor, and the Separatists and the Republic invaded and took the, the entire planet over, guess what? You would be flipped. Because... The Separatists have a giant Troy army that ranges in the in the quintillions. And the Republic's clone troopers are the best soldiers in galactic history. <laughs> the Enclave soldiers in the power armor would be absolutely useless to the sheer numbers of the droid army and the, 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 the strategic algorithms of the galactic flipping Republic's clone army. Dealing with two galactic superpowers actually fighting each other, now joining up to beat the ultimate enemy. <laughs> it'd be dangerous for it'd be dangerous for anyone who's going up against these sucker, these two galactic superpowers. <laughs> Earth would be split between the Republic and the CIS.
So if you are in Soul Survivor and you go and you check off a clone trooper or B1 Commander Battle or B1 Battle Droid, you would be find your, you would find yourself in a heap of trouble. I, I personally don't believe the Soul Survivor would last that long up against. I don't think the Institute would even last that long up against the Republic and the Separatists. I really don't think anyone would probably win that kind of war. Not even the Enclave. Only the Separatists and the Republic would win. And let me tell you, the Separatists and the Republic would beat the Enclave, really. Because the Enclave would be too small. They would have some effectiveness, but they wouldn't be able to stand up, that kind, up to that kind of force. Even the Republic would be bigger than the Enclave. So, yeah, the Enclave is pretty screwed. I don't know about the Zetans. They'll probably just get killed by the Separatists or the Republic. And Earth would be, or Zeta and Earth would be both be taken over by the Separatists and the Republic. I don't know what this would mean for Darth Sidious, but really, it'd just be me more planets to control. This would be a classic Palpatine straight up. Now, we need to get going. All right, it's time to go. Now, I also think the Galactic Empire would also be able to take out the Enclave. And why? Because they're the flippin' uh, Empire. You cannot beat the Empire if you're too small and you're too and you're too unqualified. Because the Empire would just kick your tin right there and right then. Well, just like the Separatists or the Republic would. I don't know about the Rebel Alliance, but they probably would too. So Enclave, if you're an Enclave soldier, you're a member, and you're watching this, I'm letting you know right now, you can get flipped right over the top rope if you're going up against the Separatist Alliance or the Republic or the Empire or the Rebels in Star Wars. It would basically, it would be an America that would enter itself into a war that it just can't win. And again, do not train child soldiers. That is a war crime. I'm telling you right now, training child soldiers is a flippin' war crime. Look it up in the Geneva Conventions. Is training child soldiers a war crime? You can look that up right now on Google or on Microsoft Edge. And you can find it right there, but Yahoo would even explain it too. Alright, so now I gotta hit the door. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to click that subscribe, the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. Now I gotta hit the door. This is Claymore 4500. Hit the door. Up out to Air Force 4510. Peace! Oh, did I not hit the peace button? Oh, peace!